Welcome back to Awareness TV with me, Antonio T. Smith Jr. And I'm having some fun. And as always, I have a live studio audience. <laughs> Just so you know, my audience is always better than yours. That's true. I even have an online audience that's going to happen too. That's going to have more of those. Don't forget to email your questions into info at the ATS Info at the ATS junior with a JR.com. And we love to have your question on the show. It's a video question. So you will be actually aired on the show. So put your makeup together and your head together and your hair together. Or if you do just show up because, you know, we take no effort to look good. It is women that have to look good. You know, they women take two hours. Dudes, we just. All right, I'm up. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Got a guy in here. He understands. He understands. I love this show. You love this show. It's actually becoming one of the most popular shows on all of iTunes right now. It is just soaring through. Yes. <laughs> soaring through. We broke our personal record for downloads just this morning, so I'm very happy for that. Very happy for that. And you can also catch us live on Facebook as well because we love to be wherever you are. This is the ATS Network, which I can say whatever I want, however I want, because we're, this, we're just that good. This is, I love this show, and I want to talk to you now about the fourth law of gold. Now, remember, this show is one that should be looked at in consecutive order. This is a show in which you want to look at in consecutive order. So go backwards. I'm not talking about money. I'm only telling you about money for the first 12 episodes because on episode 13, I'm going to smash money. I'm going to tell you what they're not telling you about money. As a matter of fact, I'm already telling you what they're not telling you about money. And the reason I'm doing so is because before there, were ever, before, before there was ever a central bank, the Babylonians were already making money. The ancients were already doing great at harnessing and powering and empowering themselves with the power of gold. There's a reason why I want to tell you about the universal laws of money because you have not been taught them and you've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, run amok. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't, it was Malcolm X coming out. I couldn't help myself, but it's true. It is absolutely true that you have been bred for slavery. I told you before, that the new slavery is debt. And of course, this is in great respect to sex trafficking. That is most certainly slavery. But you, sir, you, ma'am, you are a slave. You wake up in the morning. You wake up in the house. You have to leave to pay for. You drive a car you can barely afford. You go down a road you pay taxes to pay for. You work at a job that refuses to make you rich with people that would never support you for being rich. You leave your house 40 hours a week so you can pay for it to sleep in it uncomfortably for about 20 hours a week. You take vacations when they tell you to. You use the restroom in approved places at approved times. You eat lunch when they tell you to. Not only that, you're so faithful to the slavery, you have to choose between gas money or health care. That's how bad it is. And I want to teach you how not to be stuck in that slavery. Fourth law, George S. Classen is the book I'm coming from. This show is not based on this book, but the first 12 episodes are based on this book because the first 12 episodes are something in which you need to understand. I, am wa I want to smash what you understand about money. Do you remember? I'm in America. American TV. I'm an American. And we were in the Boston Harbor and we said, no taxes. Take your stupid teeth. 
and now you pay taxes. Did you miss that? I rewind it. We, we said no taxation without representation, O king. And, and now you pay taxes. Aha, taste the soup. If you don't know that, it's Eddie Murphy. It's coming to America. One of the greatest movies of all time. Aha, that's how it ends. It's, taste the soup. It, 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 I can't taste, well, give, give me a spoon. Aha, yes, this is an aha moment, as Oprah Winfrey would say, that you have been bamboozled. Let's talk about the fourth law for a moment. We'll take questions from my audience in a moment. Gold slippeth away from the man who invests in business. This is not my handwriting. I had the camera woman who was also my publicist and Tempest publicist as well. I had her write this down because I write like a, I write like a one-year-old. Like a boy. I, okay. okay. Tempest says I write like a boy. This is an accurate statement. I write like a boy. Invest in businesses or purposes with which he is not familiar with or not approved by whose skill it is to keep. What does that mean? I know that's King James talk. Let me help you out. <laughs> Money slips away from the dude that invests in what he don't know about. Did that make sense to you? Okay, she said that makes sense to her. Your money keeps leaving you because you don't know about money. Ladies and gentlemen, let me help you out real quick. I just want to help you. I just want to help you. Do you mind if I help you? Please. Do you mind if I help you? Please. Do you mind if I help you, sir? I want to help you there, audience. Let me, let me help you for a second. You can't do nothing you don't know about. Let me, that sounds simple. Let me help you out. If you want to be a basketball star, you have to know about basketball. You have to read books about basketball. And the reading books about basketball, that means you have to be on the court. If you want to do a crossover, you have to practice. If you want to be a preacher of any religion, you have to actually know that sacred text. Did you see it again? You have to know what you're trying to do. If you want to be a prostitute, did you know you have to know how to get the Johns? You do. You have to know what corner you have to do research you have to do research to do one of the oldest professions of all time if you want a gas station you have to research which corner at which time of day will your gas station be successful has anybody ever saw a gas station in the middle of the intersection no how many of you go to gas stations that are not controlled by a stoplight don't you hate those? Because you hate trying to fight to get out. Those gas stations always fail. Whatever you're trying to do in this life, you must know. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't know anything about money. That's why you're in slavery. You don't know anything about money. That is exactly why you were in slavery. You're not reading books on money. You, you, you didn't read Financial principles. They taught you in school how to be general intelligent. Generally intelligence is what they taught you, but they never taught you financial intelligence. How many of you were taught in school how to write a check, but not how to keep one? <laughs> Come on, be honest. How many of you right now, you went through college and have no idea how to keep money in your bank account? If I ask you right now, what's the definition of an asset? How many of you would know? You don't know. You know why you don't know? Because the schools are not here to teach you how to be rich. They're here to teach you how to be an employee. The, I was watching an interview with Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son. And he said in this interview, and it's wonderful, he said in this interview, they get the little bells on it so you can listen to authority. Then they make you listen to authority so you can follow the line. Then they make you have long hallways so you can walk the long green mile. Anybody seen the movie Green Mile? It's a great movie. John Coffey. John Coffey. It's a great movie. John, you knew John Coffee. Yeah. 
Give me a boss, I'll fix that for you. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. Prisons have long hallways just like schools. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been trained to go into prison or to go into a job that you won't be able to leave until you're 65. So I want to show you something real quick. I want to, I want to show you your main problem. Your main problem is this is what you want. This is who you are. Unfortunately, for most of you, you start off in life with two experienced profile players. You call them your parents. In some cases, one of them is AFK. Does anybody know what that means? Okay, you're 22. You don't know what AFK means, you're 22? A F K away from keyboard. It means you finna get shot on the game because you're not at the controller. Away from keyboard, okay? Probably your father is away from the keyboard. So here in the game of life, here in the game of life, you have one parent and they are a slave. I didn't spell that right, but you get it. They are a slave. Now, I got your question. If you have two parents, you say, well, I got both parents. I've done a good job. Yes, you have. Congratulations. I'm very happy of you. That was your, that was your question? The away from keyboard was still heavy, kind of, but I, I'm caught up. You're caught up now. Basically, what I did was I'm making, this, I'm making this the game of life. Have anybody ever heard the game of life? Yeah, yeah. So I'm talking gamer knowledge. I so I have little gamer kids, mm -hmm. and they teach me all the gaming lingo. They'd be like, AFK, man, AFK. They, they, they honestly say this because they be chatting live. Now, <laughs> you have two parents. They teach you religion. And they say religion is over finances. Well, my parents were awesome. And they, we're atheists. No problem. You have two parents. And they teach you morals. And they tell you morals are over finances. Now, for some of you, if you're somebody like me, you're still trying to figure out why did I write want over here and how do I get from stick man to what I want? Others of you, you have vehemently denied what I have told you. you you're saying things like money isn't everything. You're a math teacher, so you appreciate this. Okay. Money isn't everything. That means not equal to. Okay. Money isn't everything. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you a new concept. We're going to keep the want here. We're going to erase this new concept. Money.
doesn't exist. I'll let you process that for a second. Because right now, I have just messed your head up or I have incited your religion or your teaching. And if you're broke, your religion or your teaching has caused you to be that way or allowed you to be that way. And where did you get your religion or your teaching from? I am glad you have asked me the two people who have decided not to be a F K. They have been in your life for many years now. They said, baby, money don't grow on trees. Baby, if you want a good job, you need to go to school. Get you a good job. Get you a trade with benefits that you can be off. Watch this. I'm going to let y'all finish. You can be off on. Weekend. All right. We all had the same non AFK parents. Yes, we have. Here's the problem with all of that. <coughs> the problem is everyone talks about money. Everyone talks about money, ladies and gentlemen. The problem is everyone does not talk about money. Right. Or to make it an adjective in proper English. Rightly, which should have been correctly, but we can still use rightly. Everyone does not talk about money correctly. Have you ever sat at the table? And y'all start talking about money? If you're poor, you know what poor people say? Don't bring up money at this table. That is inappropriate. Why are you always bragging? So I don't, ooh, I don't have time to talk about money, the job, this is stress. I just want to eat and have peace. If you're in the middle class, here's a conversation at your money table. Eat, please. Don't talk about none table talk. If you're modernly middle class, you're not even at the table. You in your room and everybody in their own separate rooms, watching their own programs, eating their own food. And if you don't have a TV, you're on your phone, watching social network or TV. And you're learning from other people what money should do to you. Money does not exist. Let me open this up completely before you throw stones at me. Everything in this world is a particle. There is a scientific term. It is called superposition. Super and position, one word. Superposition. This is quantum physics. Thou does not have the chance it to rejecteth me because quantum physic if existed if you can't reject quantum physics. Okay, it's the most accurate science we have to mankind. Quantum physics says that every particle actually exists in a wave of infinite possibilities. The moment you look at the wave, it collapses into one thing, a particle. You can have any option you want, but the moment you observe it, it goes to the one thing you observed. Here's the problem with that, although this is no problem. The problem is most of you, nope, all of you will only observe 
what is in your auto suggestion. That's what Napoleon Hill calls it. For simplicity, we would call it your subconscious. Every time you think about money, you will then focus on it and you will only observe what you can believe in your subconscious. Money does not exist, only energy. I shall continue to explain. If I tell all of you right now, you're gonna make a million dollars. You're gonna be like, yeah, you got dog, all right, I'm gonna make a million dollars. What you thought this was? You thought I was weak? I'm gonna make a million dollars. <laughs> four and five, player, four and five. That's Kings of Comedy, Cedric the Entertainer, if you're not familiar with that. <laughs> you say, listen, all right, I'm gonna make a million dollars. You're gonna make a million dollars in the next five minutes. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute now. And that's what happened. Now you see what your subconscious actually believes about your million dollars. See, you have a practice thought process. That practice thought process makes you talk real good in public. It makes you get your lapel together. When you take selfies, you suck in your stomach. <laughs> put your shoulders out. If you're a girl, you put your boobs out a little bit. Or you, you do one of these pictures like this here and you stick it out. You, you, you understand. You, you do all that great stuff. <laughs> That's practice. This is why some of you, when we see you in person, you don't look like your profile picture. Because you have practiced uh, taking pictures. You understand. All of us have practiced thoughts. But the real you comes out when I constrain your practice-ism to a time frame that you believe is time. I will go to that in another episode. When I say you make a million dollars, you say, no, nah, I got that. Two minutes, whoa, that's not possible. And that is what you really think about money. What you really think about money is you can't have it in the rules of this world. Think about it for a second. Erase all this. I'm going to keep up one because that's how we're going to end this episode. When I told you, you can make, well, when I told you that you can make one million dollars, when I told you this, you, oh, <laughs> you show right. But when I put you back out of your mind and into this world, you said, no, that's not possible. Ladies and gentlemen, many of you right now are stuck on that's not possible blessings. Mm. When it comes to money, <laughs> you're stuck on that doesn't work for people who look like me. That's not possible for people the color of me. Women don't make this kind of money. Black men don't make this kind of money. Or, simply, that's for everybody else. Not for me. Because when I have luck, it's only bad luck. Never good luck. Anybody ever felt like that before? Said any of these statements? Let me, he said all of them. <laughs> let, me, let me help you. Let me help you greatly. I know that you, Mr. Religious Man, uh, religious woman, uh, your sacred text said, store up in me the tithe to the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. That's Malachi 3, 10. I know you think that Jesus was American. I know you do. And I know you think that the storehouse was the church. I, I, I know you think that when he opened up a window of heaven and pulled you out one blessing that you won't have room enough to receive, you metaphorically made that money. But if we can use hermeneutics, hermeneutics, Hermeneutics means 
to go back into the century in which that text was written and see what they talking about, not what you trying to apply it to be. Uh, since the people of that sacred text were crazy concept. I know you've never heard of this before, but the people of that text were farmers. I know you never heard that term before. I know you've never heard of farmers, but the people of that text were farmers. So when that text says, I opened up a window of heaven, rain. And I will pour out for you so much rain that when the harvest times come, you won't have room enough to put it in your little clay house. I know you've rushed to translation and you've applied it into your 21st century knowledge. Here ye lies the problem. The dollar didn't exist in 800 BC. The printing press did not exist in 800 BC. It, 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 it was the printing press was right around 1500, the end of the Dark Ages. The, the, the printing press is what allowed for people to get that same sacred text into their common vernacular after the universal church, not to be offensive, decided to let people do so. The King James Bible was not finished until 1611. I know Jesus spoke in King James because he was American. I know he did. I know he did. Point here is money doesn't exist. It's something we made up. When your God or whatever you choose to believe, say, let there be something or when the Big Bang happened, it didn't happen with the central bank. When the Big Bang happened and created planets, it wasn't Bank of America inside the first planet. It, it didn't happen that way. We made it up. Just like we made up traffic laws and tax laws, we made it all up. Money is energy. Energy is the only thing that exists on planet Earth. How you are in relationship with energy is how energy will be in relationship with you. If this is to that, then that is to this. This math problem has been around plaguing sixth graders for a long time. If energy is to you, then you are to energy. However you think about money is how money thinks about you. Ooh, child. I better not spend this, it's gonna run out. Therefore, your money always runs out. You know what, money don't grow on trees because there's scarcity, therefore, you're always in scarcity. So in order for you to get from stick leisha to what you want, you must understand one thing, money and how to attract it. And if you think for one second that they had jobs before 1900, you are mistaken. Antonio T. Smith Jr. You can plan better, you can dominate. Yeah.